I'm Meryl Key and this is my mystery school. This is What is Happening and Why Astrology, where we look at the big picture transits for the month of January 2024. If you want individual horoscopes for your sign, check out my January Astro Dice forecast or get the long view of what's happening in 2024 with my Astro Tarot reading. It's up on my channel now. And thanks for your support. But now, here's a quick planetary overview before we get into the grit of what you need to know to start off the year. And I'll finish up with a recap. big thing is Pluto is moving into Aquarius on the 21st. The shift in focus is in a kind of disintegration mode as new light breaks through. You may or may not feel this personally, but you will see around you a new energy or an urgency to embrace a different way, to speed up, to break free, even to separate so you can come back in a better form. Pluto changing signs puts us in the birth canal and crowning for the whole year. That sounds painful, but it's not without its purpose or its reward. I'll talk more about that in a bit, because the overarching atmosphere of January is held in a supportive net as we go through the transition. The universe never lets you down, so there's a few things that are good to know. First, Jupiter and Saturn are within a couple of degrees of an exact sextile all month. Jupiter is visionary and wants to expand. Saturn is cautious and wants to contract. A difficult transit between them can make you yo-yo, sabotage or erupt. But this sextile is in harmony and both planets become a cheer squad. Jupiter and Saturn being their best is support, justice, protection, healthy boundaries. It's a combination of discipline and luck. If you put in a bit of effort for Saturn, it will multiply under a positive boost from Jupiter. For instance, it might be easier to set a budget or a routine this month and stick to it. If you've been slogging away covering for others, this might be the month you get some help and support. An investment can show progress, a safety net appears. Saturn and Jupiter are ready to reward good work. Another thing that's useful, while Pluto is rumbling into the new territory of air sign Aquarius, Mars on the 5th, the new moon on the 11th, Mercury on the 14th, and Venus on the 24th all move into Earth sign Capricorn, acting like gears and guy ropes as we shift frequencies. Because essentially, we're lifting from something very earthbound to a higher, faster level. Having these personal planets, Mars of action, Mercury communication and contracts, and Venus partnerships, all in Capricorn, stabilises the undercurrent of change. The new moon will be at 20 degrees Capricorn on the 11th, and it's ready to sign off on any stalemate, so it really is heralding that new beginning. It's last drinks to finalise some details, close off an era, and sweep up the crumbs. And finally, it's interaction with the asteroids and dwarf planets that hold a space for reflection, ignite a flame, and call for justice before Capricorn finally lets go of Pluto. Vesta, Sedna, Pallas and Juno are all actively involved in strong aspects with the traditional planets, and it layers a higher purpose or a spiritual awakening to the mood. Even Caraclo, the shape-shifting guide and shamanic foster mama is on hand in Aquarius to gently lead the transition through. As Pluto's reign in Capricorn disintegrates, the asteroid palace is part of the cleanup. She's in Pluto's sign of Scorpio, 
where she's in a position to purge some dirty secrets. Palace exposes war crimes and brings justice and investigation where conflict has gone off the rails. For the first three weeks of January, she is opposite Uranus in Taurus, and it suggests a sudden exposure or a breakthrough, revealing double standards, corruption and entitlement. Uranus has an unhinged quality that can get really culty, extreme, and just go off doing its own thing. It's dangerous in a disconnected way. Pallas is opposite, tracking that behaviour and writing everything down. It's possible that scandals, exposés and investigations could really flourish in January, especially that first half when Pallas opposite Uranus is hot and active. Pallas opposite Uranus could also influence a truce or humanitarian intervention in the wars currently happening on Earth. Uranus is unpredictable, so Pallas's ability to hold peace is tentative, but it's a good time to be diplomatic rather than dogmatic. The Saturn sextile Jupiter is supporting revelations that come to light, and it's pushing for the truth. Their involvement can create new laws, new structures, and a favourable backup to Pallas's call for accountability. By the 21st, Pallas has moved on to trine Neptune, same day as the Sun joins with Pluto in brand new Aquarius. From Pallas's perspective, the Sun shining into Pluto's dark secrets is nuclear, full illumination of the underbelly, and a positive feed from Neptune with that trine Looks like a fog or an illusion is cleared and the truth lies bare, full exposure. On a personal level, Pallas opposite Uranus launches a dilemma between what is right versus what is way too far. Uranus is irrational and unexpected and it's a challenge to Pallas who's very considered, strategic and intelligent. You may be facing an outburst with dignity being one step ahead when the rug is pulled, or bringing civility and justice where the line is crossed. There can also be a stroke of brilliance with this aspect. If you're looking for a creative solution or a breakthrough in something like research or studies or deliberations, January could be the time. It's also a time you could be exposed to something you can't unsee. You'll need to be strategic with the information and you may decide to keep Sturm and let someone or something fall on their sword. It's about checking in with reasonable expectations versus disproportionate responses. And now we need to look at the main event. Pluto sliding into Aquarius on the 21st and it's not doing it alone. The sun is also moving into Aquarius on that day and it's auspicious and bright and commanding. A few days after that, on the 25th, the full moon at four degrees Leo also gives a blessing. Saturn and Jupiter are ready with soft landings and Pallas and Neptune have aligned for justice and creative solutions. Pluto is the god of everything that happens beneath the surface. So when he opens to the sun, it shows what's hidden in plain sight. This is the grand announcement that Pluto has elevated his kingdom to the element of air and we can expect transformative change with all that that entails. Distance, space, ideas, technology, innovation in sound, light, wind power, air quality, internet, weather conditions, invisible connections. Air covers a lot of ground, but not so fast. Before we zip off into the future, Pluto will wobble on the precipice of the Aquarius Capricorn cusp all year, like a cat at a door, on the threshold of what is known to what is possible. In September, Pluto wobbles back into the doorway of Capricorn, just for a couple of months, and then on November 19, it will emerge fully in Aquarius. That means that what comes up now in January, what gets exposed, needs a bit more purging before there's a bookend or a closure in November. When planets are at a threshold, they're powerful and undiffused and a kind of bursting at the doorway. 
Their arrival in a new sign is usually loud, impactful and often long-lasting. That leaves most of the year with a feeling of anticipation. It will likely bring up fears and uncertainty, feeling squeezed and feeling released. Capricorn likes hierarchy and status, but Pluto will be stripping back the last pretenses of power and prestige in those areas as we open to a new collective vision. In Tarot, Aquarius is represented by the star card, the highest form of healing and spirituality. She brings open and flowing restoration. She reconciles duality by nourishing all aspects of equality. She's a transition card. She's in the twilight, at the threshold. We're not fully birthed. That's the sun card which comes later. But we have a guide and a place to gather strength. Wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, you undergo a transformation, ideally in the form of independence, freedom, community and innovation. Aquarius enjoys diversity, collaboration and equality, and to bring about a fundamental change in those places, Pluto will dig under the surface to reveal what's been oppressed and corrupted. We've reached a full cycle since Pluto was last in Aquarius in 1788, when Indigenous Australia was invaded by the British and America fought for independence. That last transit 200 odd years ago also introduced the industrial age and the end of cottage industries and home-based skills to mass production, factories and trade unions. So what's next? As we build on those technologies, a new age is beginning. Pluto shifting from earth to air element is a really potent change but it's at the threshold all year wriggling around in the birth canal. So what's going to be helpful all month? Saturn and Jupiter sextile is a safety net. Any discipline you put in now will get a Jupiter size reward. Two, the personal planets and the new moon all move into Capricorn and that keeps you grounded. It keeps you real. It acts as an anchor as the energy is shifting and it will help you finalise any details that have been left untethered. Thirdly, the asteroids are guiding us through this transition. Pallas opposite Uranus brings justice. Something comes to light that needs a decision, and you'll be looking at what's reasonable and what's gone on way too far. There's potential exposure and disappointment with this, but also creative solutions and breakthroughs are opened up. This is active the first three weeks of the month, and then moves on to get the extra support from Neptune. So act with dignity and compassion. And it's best to be diplomatic rather than dogmatic this month. The power shift rolls in when Pluto and the Sun move together to zero degrees Aquarius on the 21st, and then meets with the full moon on the 25th. Both the new moon and the full moon have a Pluto connection. So these are times to consciously purge, let go and see truth. Pluto influences generations and its MO is transformative change. All breathe a higher level of consciousness and keep pointing towards the light for the breakthrough. I'm Meryl Key and this is my mystery school. Check the other videos on my channel or find me on Instagram at my underscore mystery school or on my website www.merylcare.com.